Sometimes when you are shooting on location, you can turn the AC off or add some sound blankets to attenuate the reverb of a room. In this 4 minute tutorial, I'm going to show you how to clean your audio track by removing background noise and reverb. This Cinema 5D quick tip video is supported by Music Vine, beautifully produced music for film and video, and Hollyland for a better view. Hi everyone, my name is Jeff and welcome to Cinema 5D. So today I'm going to show you how to clean your audio signal as much as possible and easily. For this tutorial, I'm going to use two plugins by Acusonus called ERA4 Noise Remover and ERA4 Reverb Remover. These VST plugins are not free, but you can get them as a bundle at an affordable price. They work with nearly every video and audio editing software like Final Cut Pro 10, DaVinci Resolve, Logic Pro 10, Pro Tools, and so on. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Adobe Premiere Pro, so let's dive into it. Here I am in Adobe Premiere Pro. I have a clip in my timeline. Let's play it. The Cinema 5D team bring you the latest information about cameras and filmmaking technology, as well as industry news, reviews, and analysis of cinema cameras and video DSLRs. As you can hear, there is noise in the background due to the air conditioning and quite a lot of reverb. So first, we will remove the background noise and in a second time, we will remove the reverb. So I will go into the FX panel and search for a plugin called ERA4 Noise Remover. I will drag and drop it onto my clip. Now I go into the Effect Controls panel and here is my plugin. I will click on Edit and the window pops up. There are only one knob here in the middle and a couple of settings you can adjust at the bottom. So let's go at the beginning of the clip. The Cinema 5D team bring you the latest information about cameras and filmmaking technology as well as industry news, reviews and analysis of cinema cameras and video DSLRs. The as you can hear, and mostly at the beginning, most of the noise is now gone. The Cinema 5D team The Cinema 5D team bring you The Cinema 5 It's much better now. If you want, you can adjust the focus settings. It will basically just tell the plugin where it needs to put more energy in the high frequencies, in the low frequencies, in the high and low frequencies, or in the mid frequencies. So now that the noise in the background is gone, we will focus on the reverb and the concept is pretty similar. Let me show you. So in the effects, panel, I will search for reverb remover. I drag and drop it onto my clip. In the effects control panel, I click on edit. And the concept is the same. There is one knob in the middle and the focus settings you can adjust at the bottom. The Cinema 5D team bring you the latest information about cameras and filmmaking technology as well as industry news, reviews, and analysis of cinema cameras and video DSLRs. The Cinema 5D team bring you the latest information about cameras and filmmaking technology, as well as industry news, reviews, and analysis of cinema cameras and video DSLRs. I really recommend you to stay gentle on these plugins because if you start to crank it up too high, it can start to sound really muffly. Obviously, it's much better now, but if you have multiple clips in your timeline, it can be really time consuming to adjust it on each clip. So let me show you another way to do it by going into the audio track mixer. And here in the FX selection panel, you can go on to the VST, Restoration, Axonis, and select ERA4 Noise Remover. If you right click on the plugin and click on Edit, boom, you have the same window and you can start adjusting it. 
This was my quick tip for today. I hope you found it useful. Don't hesitate to let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Cheers.